Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome to this absolutely beautiful forest spot we found so we've uh, been here probably about 20 minutes now just parked up got the vans all nicely parked up there behind me and it's so peaceful it's just so peaceful here so there's plenty of stuff to do here um, we've got uh, obviously forest walks, trails to go cycle on um, but there's quite a few little bits of things to actually go and look at too in this forest um, so hopefully over the next couple of days or so uh, we'll walk around and have a shifty at a few things uh, one of them is a huge tower like um, I think it goes over the top of the tree line um, so uh, you can probably have a good look out from that one um, so that'll be quite interesting and there's a few little bits of rubber and rubble and stuff like that as well for those of you who like the rubble it's a little bit warm <laughs> not complaining not complaining at all but yeah lovely warm temperatures i'm making the most of um two fans right now one to make the air go out the back and then one to get the cool air inside. Unfortunately, you can't do that with yours, can you? I can't. No. I have to, um... Well, I could, I could put that on. I need a big stick. So, we need to... I uh, forget how yours works. So it's that. Pop yep. out. And then... And then that. That one there, yeah. There for that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I can feel that straight away. Yeah? Yeah. That's working for you, is it? Aye. You're eating noisy compared to mine. Mind you, it's probably as noisy as mine on full. Mm. And because I have no choice in the matter. Yeah. So it's joint cooking again tonight. I'm storing the important things, like the burgers and the beer. We'll crack open a beer in a minute. Uh, Mandy's cooking the burgers on her George Foreman because that's better for the burgers and it's not my brand is now no all right on your grill sandwich toastery thing there you go um and i'm doing the potatoes that you can see there i'm going to uh, quarter them up and shove them in my air fryer right any other further instructions for uh, for me to not mess this up not at all i shall give you a selection of herbs and spices to use okay and then the potatoes and a bowl to mix them all up in. Oh, you're too kind. So I'm, I'm dead nice for that kind of thing. So I just make sure that you've got everything you need. Right, well, why might you ask, am I not cooking the burgers and Mandy's not cooking the potatoes and we just don't swap the cooking implement? Good question. And the answer is... I don't know. <laughs> I'd say the reason we're doing this way is those potatoes are cooked. So they just need to be warmed up. Yes. No food poisoning. They're not cooked. So they need to be cooked correctly, so it's on you then. <laughs> so if I poison us both, it's my fault. You, you have never poisoned us, so you're quite clearly the best person to cook the meat. I have never knowingly poisoned us, no. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get cooking. Good looking. Cheers. Cheers, babe. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. All right, potatoes going in. On how long and how long for? Um, nice and hot, like 210. Yeah. Start off for 10 minutes and give it a shake halfway because they are already cooked, so, and the small pieces. Cool. Do a shake in the middle, 210, 10 minutes. Ping! Alright, I've had confirmation from Chef that taters are good. So I'll just put them back in there so they stay warm. And switch me inverter off. Oh, can't wait. Look at them, though. I, I may have drunk all my beer, though. 
so I might need a fresh beer. You're right with that, aren't you? Another beer? Oh, I'm sure I can force it down me then. Oh. Right then. I think that was easy enough for both of us. I think so. It's so weird though, because my van smells like burgers and your van smells like potatoes. Anyway, burgers, potatoes and beer. Time to chow in. Chow down. Chow down. Chow in the pond. Chow in the pond. Watch out there. Hot. Hot. Ah, oh, they were nice burgers. Oh. I've wolfed mine down. Mandy's on a second. Mm. And taters are nice as well. And but you just miss the most God almighty burp. <laughs> a little bit but i was just gonna say though tonight's film is gonna be saving private ryan and i was gonna say do you guys have this as well so if something happens in your day and it triggers a memory in your life that film mm. so the other day we had to watch contact because there was something we remembered somewhere mm. i Ooh. think it was because we went to that um the german world war ii v2 uh bunker and it was all to do with the rockets and, and going to space. And, and redstone rockets and all that. Yeah, and how stuff. far the signals had been sent out and stuff. Yeah, so that triggered us to watch uh, Contact. Um, and because we've been today to uh, look at all the, uh, what do you call them, memorials and um, cemeteries and that from uh, World War One and World War Two, we're going to watch... Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan is the film of choice. We're a little bit south from all of those beaches, but there's been lots of lots of links between the two. And to be honest, but I've, not, I've never seen a, a film about Ulster riflemen no. in, the, in the First World War because I'd watched that. Yeah. Um, so it was just a thing to say. If you have said affliction, um, comment down below. Yes, John, I have the same thing, <laughs> and I have to. Um, you know, watch a film at night because of something that happened during the day. You no, know, I mean, it can be the most innocuous thing as well, isn't it? I can just turn around and say a little something to you and you'd be like, right, that's... Because it's terrible, isn't it, how hard it is to choose a film. Yeah. You know, you're sitting there just going... Forever flicking. Yep. But yeah, it's definitely... Uh, when we get one of those, we just grab it. We've got loads of go-to favourite films and it tends to be all of those, really, doesn't it, that it goes into Yeah. It. And if we've got enough time today, maybe Hacksaw Ridge as well because one of the stories we heard today from... Uh, the Ulster uh, Memorial was about somebody who got a VC, which is the Victoria Cross reward. Yeah. Um, not reward, medal. Um, because he'd gone in to try and save somebody, uh, couldn't find that person, but spent the whole night saving seven other people. Yep, kept going in and out and pulling them out on a tarp for like a, a mile. A, across a, a kind of like a, a, a German front line as well. So yeah. mega brave, but yeah. Uh, so another little question for you, if you know any other films like Hacks or Ridge that are kind of like, um, I suppose, a film based on true events. Like a movie adaption based on a true story. Yeah, about that kind of event, then let us know in the comments section down below too. Absolutely. We do like it. It's awful, so we do like a good war film. We find them very interesting yeah. and captivating. We prefer films based around real events sometimes. We also like sci-fi stuff as well, but, you know, Anything that you can sort of like connect back to history with. Absolutely. As you can tell, we, we do like visiting all these war things. Mm. And we're going to try not to overload you guys with it because I know it's yeah. not everybody's thing. It's just difficult not to because we are slap bang in the som. And of course, everyone knows that. And everyone knows the kind of things you get around yeah. here. So we're going to go into San Quentin soon, hopefully. Yep. You may not get to see them all because, like I say, we don't want to just fill every video with it. Yep. Um, but it is our, our thing. Yep, and we do like visiting. I mean, even Rocky, the most awesome tour today, yeah. tour guide, he turned around and he said that he's, as much as the cemeteries are lovely to go and see, it's like once you've seen a handful, you've seen them all. Yeah. If you've got something, somebody to look up specifically, you know, it's great going it's and visit. connection to it, yeah. Yeah, but then it is, they, they are, there's so many of them, there's nowhere, you wouldn't get anywhere. No. They go even slower than we're going already. Is that possible? I don't know, You would. your head would explode. It really, really would. You'd be would. going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, on that bombshell, eat more burgers and taters, and um, yeah, we'll catch you later.
stop me. Otherwise, I'll go blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Done that? <laughs> Sneaky with that recording button, mister. Yeah. <laughs> it's so quiet walking around here. Such a lovely, peaceful place to walk around. Isn't oh, it? yeah, definitely. There's a cuckoo that keeps popping up every now and again as well, isn't there? How does that go? Um, sort of like, cuckoo, cuckoo. I think people might think that you're a bit cuckoo now. I think they already know, sweetheart. <laughs> it's a 20 minute walk, went around the lake first and then around the remains of the abbey. And there's a little forest bit and then uh, back to the parking, which in French is parking, just yes. so you know. And Abbey is Abbey. Abbey. Yeah, so we're learning. Easy, easy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we saw um, a bike track, didn't we? Yes, yeah, so we're going to get the bikes out. Not now. No, not now. It's quite late. Um, but saw a fox as well. A big old fox. And then we forgot we were YouTubers. Until yeah. the last minute. And we're like, no way, a fox. And then we both went in pockets to try and get phones out. The fox literally walked in front of us, walked past us, and then kept looking back at us as if to say, you're not going to film me or what? Because <laughs> we literally like... <laughs> it was quite big. It was huge. Mm. Bigger than Cooper. Yeah. Yeah. But very red, very foxy. Yeah, foxy. Really? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go and enjoy this walk a bit more. Fans there. Oh, look at that. Lovely shot. Yeah, I'm proper on the wonk. Yeah, it's quite a lot about you, really, doesn't it? it says a lot about you. <laughs> it takes one to know one. Oh, okay. Good morning, folks, and welcome back to John and Mandy attempt to go and do. A hike somewhere. <laughs> we mean walking for a long way, really. Yeah. But you know, we'll take the hiking. We'll That's the point. Kudos. You've not got your. Uh, I nearly said the wrong word then. <laughs> walking poles. Yes, I've only got one. Remember the other one broke. Oh yeah. <coughs> oh dear. You all right? Oh, yeah. a drink there. Huh? Swallow the fly. Oh no. Yeah. So we're off to the middle of the forest to try and find um, an observation tower. Mm. Apparently, you can go. Like, is it like five or six floors up? Or yeah, it's supposed to be above the tree line and everything, so that should be quite cool. It do look cool. And see where we end up. This is a steep hill, if you can see from there, or back there. Whew. Them walker poles will be useful right now. Very much so. Whew. Oh God. Whose idea is it to walk? Oh, it's yours I think, ready. Was it? Uh-huh. Idiot. <laughs> Biggest idiot on the internet. Biggest idiot on the internet. Come lay on my chest. You can find a little rest from hiding. Don't let this go. Don't let go 
That's a long way up. That's a long way to get here as well. Mm. About an hour and 20 minutes or so. So to get up here after walking for, for an hour and a bit. I'm going to walk back. Yeah. There's no Uber. No. No. <laughs> And we've just been visited by an Asian hornet. Yeah. It's like that. Massive thing, really quite a bright orange as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like bright orange, but then even like a darker orange, massive eyes. It was, uh, And then I Googled it to make sure it was one of those, and it, the first story said, six dead. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently France is fighting back against the invasion. Yes. Because they kill all the bees and everything. Yeah, we don't need that. No. Oh, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Can we drink my water first so your bag stays heavy and my bag gets lighter? Thanks for that. I might try my trail mix soon. Mm. Trail mix. <laughs> it's brought bloody peanut M&Ms with him. Well, hang on a minute. Trail mix, right? So, you got sugar. So, like the hard outer, outer case. Mm. And you've got chocolate, more sugar, milk, or milk powder. <laughs> it's part of your five a day. Um, and then healthy nuts. Healthy nuts. Yeah, with the oil and all the nutrients in that. I mean, it's like, it's perfect trail mix. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm just going to have a munchy bar. Well, I bet mine's better than yours. Mine's got oat flakes, peanuts, and a drizzle of honey. It's not going as near as much as mine's got milk and stuff in it. Mine's got chocolate on it as well, so it's got milk chocolate. Uh, uh... Practically fruit. <laughs> Oh dear me. Right, which way are we doing it? Are we going to go and see this car park? Yeah, I think we go down there and take the road back because um, it's probably a little easier. On the old feet? Yeah. Yeah. And proper, oh, yes. proper uneven terrain. Yeah, some of those forest tracks are loggers tracks, so not only are they rough, muddy, but yeah, they're up by <laughs> that stage as well. Isn't yeah, it? and roots coming all over them and what have you. So your feet are constantly moving to one side. My feet are killing me, just I think because of the... Ah, uh, the undulation. Undulation and stuff. So yeah, a road back sounds... Sounds okay. It's not too busy. No. We might have found a different park of us also. We might have moved the vans. Yes. We'll see. Yeah. So I'm suffering a little bit with... Dead yeah. yeah. I'm all right when I can get to your van. Yeah, we're definitely noticing that there is an absolute benefit in getting an aerial, a decent aerial for the Wi-Fi that sticks up above the top of the van. Mm. Your little puck antenna, it might be nice and discreet. It's not really good at getting a signal, is it? No, it gives me a better signal than when I'm in the van. Yeah. So that is like, it's like better for that, but it's nowhere near as good as yours. Yours is a good setup. Yeah. And I wish I hadn't have argued against it. I don't want that big thing stuck on the back of my van. <laughs> well... There we go. Forever complaining. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get going. Trail mix. Trail mix time. Just enjoying my trail mix. Near the plane, a French bit built an airport near here. They were quite worried about the noise and everything, but they figured they got nothing to lose. Really? Oh my <laughs> God. Uh, I'm going. Just walking along here, and I'm thinking, like, Reminds me of that film Stand By Me. Because it's peaceful, it's like an old track through a forest. And I feel like we're going to cross a path to some scrapyard and there's a dog going to sick us. Sick us? Yeah. We're going to have to run across a train bridge. Yeah. Yeah. And we are like talking rubbish. <laughs> you know, talking about everything and anything. <laughs> we're just having a general chit chat about life and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah. If anyone's ever seen that film, I guess you'll know what we mean. If not, go watch it. Stand by me. Classic film. Been out for a while. Yes. Yeah, yeah, shows our age a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're probably about, I don't know, three quarters of the way back now. We did find another parking spot, so we're probably are going to move on to that one. The signal was better, so Mandy will be all right uh, when she's in her van then. Yes. And... Um, the view is a bit better too. Yeah, it's a bit lighter as well. Yeah, it? so we get better solar. Oh dear. Nearly. Yeah, nearly there. Eight How many six. clicks? 8.6. Knew you were going to ask that. 8.6 <laughs> clicks. Oh. And so far we are on that two hours worth of being out and about. 
two hours and 20 minutes, two beers. Yeah. There we go. And my feet are telling me that too. Yes. So is my butt talks. Movie day tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. She does this, she's talking away and she's just like, bing, oh, look at that, blah. I can't help myself. Shiny things. <laughs> you thought I was talking to somebody else before, didn't you? But yep. a butterfly had landed on me, so I'm like, hi. Strange, tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, tomorrow will be an editing day. Give the buttocks a rest. <laughs> <laughs> So how's your glutes this morning? Mm. Let's just go for a quick walk, John said. It won't take long at all. Kind of, kind of was, it was only six miles. <laughs> Two and a half hours. Yeah, it was just it was up a bit like that, wasn't it? Mm. And my balls are killing me. Eh? I don't know if it was just like the <clears throat> uneven feet? terrain. Should we clarify that feet? Well, I haven't got any other balls, have I? You've got cahoonies. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is true. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, um, my glutes are feeling it. Right. Um, my uh, the back of my neck because uh, I caught the sun a little. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah. Rosy cheeks too. Always, um, and no wine was involved this, this time. No. But yeah, that was a good walk. It though. Was, I did it? enjoy that because that was a little bit of everything, wasn't it? Not just um, not just walking in a forest. Yeah, so, it's good. We started off with um, doing our watches to track the route and that. And um, mine was an elevation change of a thousand feet. Wow. Yeah. That, I mean, we did climb up lots of steps to go to that observation tower, yeah. so that probably helped with that elevation a bit, didn't it? So from, from when we um, set our watches off, we'd gone up 600 feet and down 400 feet. Ah, going okay. Going up and down that route. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, because that was hilly as, as all. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I think I may take a few days before I get back on my bike or have another walk. I, I think so. I mean, you, your watch normally tells you how long you have to wait, doesn't it? 42 hours. 42 hours. That's, <laughs> see, that's not bad, really. Um, but we weren't taking it slow. There was a little bit on the way back, weren't we, where we thought we'd better start taking it easy. Yeah. Um, but no, that was an interesting, lovely walk. Lovely area. Nice place as well with a little uh, pond. Nice to see the little fox. Ah, oh, the fox, yes. And then... Um, the little ruins and all that as well. Yeah, fox scared the living, 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 living. That's fox scared the living daylights out of me. Easy if you'd say. <laughs> you'd think so, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, and the ruins, and it's just a, just a shame that the internet just wasn't that little bit better. Unless you got an aerial on the outside of your roof. Yeah, and then you park, even though we parked two really, really close together, it's just still just that little bit too far away for me to pinch it in the evening. Mm. <laughs> But I think that's it for this stop. Um, we're going to, um, is it a medieval walled town or something next? It's like Loan or Loon or something like that. Loon. No. No. There we go then. So uh, yeah, that's where we're off next. Yes, and get some washing done because we need to do some washing, especially mm. after after all of that walking. Walks. Yeah, yeah <laughs> literally everything had to come off and go straight in the wash after that. So yeah, so, yeah get some laundry done, which should be cool. Cool. Right then, folks, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, we shall see you next week. We certainly will. Bye. Bye. I need to wave in front of my face, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.